to see two little girls fighting out here. You want to fight the Avatar? Then let's finish this. Right here, right now. Whenever you're ready. This is Avatar Bender Battles. Avatar Korra and Toph Beifong. Technically, we've seen these two sparring once before, but Korra was still feeling the harmful effects from being poisoned, and Toph was, well, 86 years old. Imagine me in my prime. <laughs> I would have destroyed you. <laughs> well, we're about to put that to the test. Korra and Toph are actually very similar in a few ways. They both have sought bending battles to empower themselves. At the beginning of her journey, Korra joined the pro-bending league in Republic City. It's the big cabbage! What a knockout! When we first met Toph, she participated in an earth-bending competition called Earth Rumble. She wanted to prove that despite being young and blind, she was powerful enough to take down any bender. Korra also made history as the first Avatar to master metal bending. She was trained by one of Toph's very own daughters, Su Yin Beifong. Who better to learn from than the family of the original metal benders? Oh, my girls never really picked up metal bending all that well, if you ask me. That's right. Toph single handedly discovered the art of metal bending. Using her seismic sense, Toph felt the earthly imperfections within the processed metal. Woo! Toph, you rule. Metal bending is awesome and Toph is definitely the strongest Earthbender. But let's not forget Korra is the Avatar. The Avatar. She has all four elements on her side, some of which can be used to defeat Toph. What? It's true. In the past, Toph had her feet burned, which scorched her seismic senses. Korra is an extremely aggressive firebender. If she can keep Toph off her feet, this battle would end very quickly. And of course, Korra has the power of the Avatar State, a power she never hesitates to use, which is bad news for Toph. Now, enough talk. Let's send it over to the Earth Rumble Arena. Welcome to Earth Rumble 7. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. <sighs> This is just gonna be a bunch of guys chucking rocks at each other, isn't it? That's what I paid for. From the Southern Water Tribe, Avatar Korra! Her challenger, your champion, the Blind Bandit! Do people really want to see two little girls fighting out here? You want to fight the Avatar? Then let's finish this. Right here, right now. Whenever you're ready. Enough talk. And they're off. Toph is coming out strong with her earthbending. Oh, she's not going to give Cora any breaks. When it comes to earthbending, Toph always has the high ground. Nice dodge by Cora and two quick air blasts. She's trying to keep Toph off her feet. Remember, without her feet, Toph can't bend. How is Toph going to retaliate here? It's not like there's any metal in this arena. Wait, what's she doing? Could she be trying to metal bend? She is! She's metal bending! She's taking everyone's jewelry! <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt! You're telling me! It's the Avatar State! Ah, looks like Toph is making an Earth suit to defend... No, attack! She's charging into Korra! Oh, they're gonna crash! Buckle up, folks. This is going to be awesome. Winner! And still your champion, the Blind Bandit! <sighs> That's right. We believe in one-on-one -on -one competition. Toph Beifong would defeat Avatar Korra. <laughs> when it came down to Earth on Earth, Toph wouldn't be faced. She never hesitates to remind people of how she is, in fact, the greatest earthbender of all time. And with minimal metal in the arena, that trump card wouldn't do much. But her secret weapon would likely be her earth armor. We've seen her making suits of earth and metal in the past. It's that kind of strategic creativity that we think would supersede Korra's raw power. Plus, Korra's rage has been known to distract her. So even as they approached an ultimate collision, we felt that Toph could go for the low blow, knocking Korra off her path of destruction and out of the competition. Korra might have been flying towards Toph, but the Super Sense Blind Bandit would definitely hear the Avatar's oncoming jet fire. 
giving the Earthbender a target for that painful speed bump. But it could have turned out differently. Oh, it most certainly could have. If Korra remained calm and relied solely on her airbending, she could have easily knocked Toph off her feet, or even suspending Toph perpetually above the ground. A potentially easy win, but not guaranteed for someone who's favored fire and earthbending their entire journey. So for now, this round goes to Toph Bayfong. Sweet. But do you think it would turn out differently? And which Fender matchups do you want to see next? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to tune in next time for an all-new Avatar Bender Battles. Finally, some peace and quiet.